Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Time for a clear test request. I'm glad it's on these two guys, because Clary said a really fucking pissed off morning. Hello, Aaron. Uh, oh, he accepts the terms, but what was his question? Hello, Aaron. Keep me anonymous. While I was listening to your podcast, I had an idea on two Clary tests. I would like a Clary test on Carlo Pedersoli and Mario Garotti, i.e. Bud Spencer and Terrence Hill. Now, if you don't know who these guys are, the only, not the only way, but the most likely way you know about these guys is through Trinity and Trinity is still my name. That's what the those two actors are most famous for. Spaghetti Westerns, comedies back in the day. Glorious Carl's favorite movies. And Glorious Carl got me introduced to this. Well then, all of a sudden I'm looking on the, the Amazon. It turns out these guys went on to produce like 20 more films. They're kind of like the... Well, one unfortunately has passed away, but they're like the Abbott and Costello, the, the Martin and Lewis of Italy. I think Terrence Hill is still alive. But these guys went on to make a bunch of movies. Uh, and what I was always impressed about them is their English, especially Bud Spencer. Like, Bud Spencer, you look at him and you listen to him. You're like, no, that's an American. There's no way he's Italian. He was. He just had... You would think he's a truck driver. There's no way. So, the even though they kind of played the same shtick in every one of their movies, um, they didn't have to be dubbed or any. Now, they might have been dubbed kind of akin to... Uh, what's his name? Clint Eastwood, where they dubbed their own voices. Uh, but these guys made up just... And then they went on... Now, some of the movies aren't as great, but some of them are just rank stupid fun. Odds and evens. Like, if you're looking for just a good family movie, it's a little bit clever. They always get invites. It's the, it's the same script over and over again. Um, it, But they're, they're also like time pieces. Watch Out, We're Mad is another one. Uh, and there's always a cute girl involved. It, it's just a charming group of movies. Some are pretty bad, but but the others are pretty good. What was it? I'm for the hippopotamus. That one, you don't want to watch that one. That one's pretty bad. Anyway, even though Terrence Hill is going to be interesting, Bud Spencer is going to be the winner. How much for a video? Best regards. And I won't mention his name because you want to remain anonymous. All right, so let's look up Bud Spencer. I'll tell you right now, I'd rather, I, I definitely would want to have... Uh, <clears throat> um, beers with them. Uh, okay, Carlo Pedasoli, known professionally as Bud Spencer, was an Italian actor, professional swimmer, and water polo player. He is known for action comedy roles with his longtime partner, Terrence Hill. The duo garnered world acclaim and attracted millions to theater seats. Spencer and Hill appeared in and produced and directed over 20 films together. A successful swimmer in his youth, he obtained a degree in law and registered several patents. Spencer also became a certified commercial airline and helicopter pilot and supported and funded many children's charity, including Spencer Scholarship Fund. Uh, so this guy is, is pretty cool. Yeah, look at him when he's young. Holy, he's a bigger fellow in all the movies, but man, is he ripped in this picture. All right. Son of Alessandro Petersoli and Rosa Facchetti. Carlo Petersoli was born. Da 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 Played several sports. In 1942, his father's work, he moved to Rome where he attended high school and joined the swimming club. He finished school and was like, ba 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 Well, what did his dad do? Um, all right, maybe we can suss it out here. Uh, played water polo, won the Italian swimming championships at freestyle. Professional swimmer, first Italian swimmer. Mediterranean Games is all in the 50s. Olympics in Helsinki. Oh, okay. Semifinals. And, uh, acting career. Uh, Peter Soli's first film was in Quella Fantasma di Mio Morito, an Italian comedy shot in 1949 and released in 1950. He played a member of the Praetorian Guard in Cos Vadis, an epic film shot in Italy made by MGM and directed by Mervyn Leroy. Ba 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 da ba! Looks like he was swimmer and then went into acting. 67. God forgives, I don't. He's high, Boot Hill. They call me Trinity. Trinity is still my name. And then he went on just to star and direct. <clears throat> Political career. In 2005, entered politics unsuccessfully, standing as regional counselor in 
Lazio, I think I drove through that. In my life, I've done everything. There are only three things I haven't done. A ballet dancer, a jockey, and a politician. Given that the first two jobs are out of the question, I'll throw myself into the politics. Uh, personal life, married in 1960, we had three children. Became a jet airplane and helicopter pilot. Found a Mistral Air in 1984. Sold it. Next month, death. That died in 86. Okay. He has a degree in law. But that doesn't apply. Alright, we'll leave his childhood. Does he have real world work experience? Yes. Did he major in something stupid? Does it apply because he was born in the days? He was born in 1929, so any degree was a good degree, so we're not going to give him any guff for that. What is he doing now? Well, he's dead, <clears throat> but what he did was he, he, he did it the right way in becoming a statesman after he did a ton of other stuff. Uh, so I'm going to be inclined to uh, give him zero points for that. The only real thing is, did he come from wealth? Let's take a look at Bud Spencer. And I'm kind of wondering because if you're going into swimming and polo and all that, Bud Spencer, Botanica. His admirers included American filmmaker Quentin Tarantino, Australian actor Russell Crowe. Spencer. Oh, here's something. Bud Spencer official. There's even a video. Here, let's try this. Snaps and Beans biography. Bud Spencer. Bud Spencer. It's just all about his, his background. Let's do Carlo Pedosi. Straight to swimming, Naples was destroyed, World War II. That's right, he lived through World War II as a kid. Been to study chemistry, study chemistry. Oh, <clears throat> okay. But the post-war time is really hard and shortly thereafter my family moves again, this time to Brazil. I learned Portuguese and work among many other things as assembly line work in Rio de Janeiro. It is a happy period that almost connects me to Brazilian music, my favorite. In 1940, I returned to Italy, abort my chemistry studies to start studying law instead. All right, so his family was moving all around in post-war Italy. He did not come from wealth. Man, look at him. It's kind of fun seeing him younger because all you see him is this big burly guy with a beard. And here he is, this young dapper looking gentleman. Okay, so he did not come from wealth. Um, he has real world working experience. He did not major in stupid stuff. He busted his ass off, did everything. He made, essentially became the world's most interesting man with the piloting and starting businesses. Gets a perfect score. Should he run for office? Yes, unfortunately he's dead. Would I have a beer with him? Hell yes, I'd have a beer with him. That sounds like a, that, that, I, I would have beers with either of these guys. All right, that's Bud Spencer. Let's look up Terrence Hill. He may come from loftier background and he's still alive all right uh born 1939 so he's 10 years younger uh than bud uh he'll start his career as a child actor and went on starring in multiple roles in action and comedy films many with longtime film partner and friend bud spencer during the height of his popularity hill was amongst italy's highest paid actors hill's most widely seen films include comic and standard westerns all italiana Spaghetti Westerns, some based on popular novels by German author Carl McCain about the American West. Of these, the most famous is Lociamavo Trinitia, you call me Trinity, and my name is Nobody, co-starring Henry Fonda, whose film Django, Prepare a Coffin, shot in 1968, and co-starring Horst Frank, bada ba ba da ba Hill, whose stage name was the product of a publicity stunt by film producers, also went on to a successful television career in Italy, including the long-running lead and title role of Don Matteo. 2000 is still, he's still, he's still working! About an inspirational parish priest who assists the carabinierity in solving crimes local to his community. He's kind of like um, Ilya Kiriakin, the actor who's still starring in some doctor show. All right, let's go to early life. Um, he born in 1939. 
in Germany. Mother was German. I'm sorry, born in Italy, in Venice. Uh, his father was a chemist by occupation. During his childhood, he lived in a small town of La Manche, Germany. He was there through the end of World War II and survived the Dresden bombing. I'm going to assume his childhood wasn't that good. I know his dad was a chemist, and maybe his dad did a little bit better than the average German, but if you're getting bombed on, I'm going to assume it wasn't, it wasn't uh, good. He was discovered by an Italian filmmaker, Dino Risi, at a swimming meet at the age of 12. So, all right, so him and, um, what's his name, uh, Bud had something in common. He became a child actor in 1951. One time among Italy's da, 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 27 movies, he secured a major film in 1963. So he was born in 39, so he's 24 by that time. I know of living in Germany and Venice during World War II wasn't easy. What did he do? Because they're immediately going to jump to his career. He was in a swimming. What was he swimming in? All right. He's married to Laurie Hill. Two sons. Oh, his wife unfortunately passed. Oh, wait, no. His son passed away, unfortunately. Alright, he's still working. Okay, so let's assess what we got. He did not come from wealth, he came from Dresden. Um. Did he major in something stupid? I don't even think he studied anything. And it wouldn't matter anyway. Well, he's, yeah, he's still a little bit too old. So it's not gonna matter. Does he have real-world work experience? Yeah, even though most of it is acting, I'm a little bit shy on acting. Um, I'm saying he's still acting today. So, again, like Bud, did... I don't know it's not, but what did he do? Did he major in it? Didn't come from wealth. Uh, worked the entire time. Worked the entire time. Why do I want to keep looking for something? Hans Hill, my own. Can't find something else. And a motorcycle. Oh man, he rode motorcycles. We see you knew that because in one of the movies, both of them are riding a motorcycle. They're cops. They they they're the criminals and end up accidentally becoming cops. Um, something bust or something like that or Miami, but something. That's a good movie too. Italian filmmaker is going to swim meet. He continued to act, acting to finance his studies and motorcycle hobby. After studying classical literature at the University of Rome for three years, he decided to devote full time to acting in 62. All right, so ah, we got to give him half a point for that. He's 10 years younger than uh, Bud Spencer. I know he came from poverty, but if you're going to study classical literature, yeah. And, and and much as I appreciate the motorcycle hobby, I never thought, oh, I'm going to make money riding a motorcycle. I was going to save money riding a motorcycle because uh, of gas prices. But this this indicates to me, nah, he didn't, now he did work out. If you watch the uh, the movies, he's obviously in great shape. He does a lot of acrobatics and, and accomplishes a lot of physical feats. I gotta I gotta give him half a point. I just gotta give him half a point uh, for that. So. Uh, should he run for public office? Yes, he has more than enough real-world working experience, um, but he's still working. How old is he? He's got to be 70-something? 39. What's uh, 39, 40, uh, 60? He's almost 80. Almost 80, 70-something. Um, and he's still working? Yeah, he should run for public office. I don't know if he'd want to, though. Um, would I like to have a beer with him? Hell yes. Hell yes, that'd be totally cool to have a beer with Terrence Hill. Um, but he just, just like I said, yeah, he's got, he's got half a point. Got to, got to give him half a point. So, all right, there you go. Bud, Bud Spencer, Terrence Hill, the Clary Test. You guys have questions, go to assholeconsulting.com. If you have Clary Test you want me to do, go to assholeconsulting.com. Basically, go to assholeconsulting.com. Check out all the other links below. You go, you click on the button, and, and there's all the links, the books, the podcast, the Patreon. Check out the Patreon. I put up a new pinup over there. You guys will like it. Nice model. She's a very sweet girl. She shaved, and she it's a nice classical 50s housewife picture. Be like, God oh, dang, did women dress like this? Yes, yes, they did. And we just completely missed out on it by only half a decade or half a century. All right, see you guys later. Toodles.